tap, tap in. Tap, tap, tap in, collective. This is God's Major Oracle. I'm Major Oracle. Give me a like if you like. Share this video. You never know who you might help. Subscribe if you're new. Leave me a comment below. Hit the notification bell to all so you know when I upload. All my videos are timeless. My videos for you when it finds you or you find my video. I play copyright free meditation music in the background. Um, this is an 18 plus channel because we never know what we're going to get in the cards. Um, so this is a YouTube trigger warning. Now let's just step right in it. I get like for some of you, you have the world on your shoulders. Like things are feeling heavy at the moment. Like there's a stagnation in the air, a sense of the calm before the storm. Now I pulled out these cards here. This is past, present, future energy. This is overall energy. And we had this card under the deck. Um, plus I pulled an affirmation card and just another card for the heck of it to see what we get. So uh, for some of you, you have a passed on loved one that is with you now at the moment. And this time that you're feeling sorrow or grief or like things are not working in your favor. Like you have to deal with a lot in life. Some of you are dealing with, you know, spouse problems, your exes or housing problems. You, you got to keep food on the table. You have children. You have the whole world on your shoulders in a sense. And everyone at the moment is like pushing down on your shoulders. And, and you feel a sense like you're going to snap in a sense. But you know you're better than that. You're strong and you know you're strong. And what doesn't break you makes you in a sense. Now, I get, I also had a card here. Overall energy was a Jezebel spirit. There's a Jezebel spirit lurking around. This is why your those passed on loved ones are around you. you. For some of you, you have a lover that passed away. That lover is part of your spirit team. That lover kisses you on the forehead every night before you go, um, after you fall asleep. It's like this person loves to watch you while you sleep. They think you're so beautiful. Now, um, we have past the two of swords, present, the two of cups, um, future, we have the page of swords. We have decisions, love, curiosity, and community. You have to make a decision within your love life because something is coming to an end. And this card, the two of cups, to me, that's a twin flame card. For So for some of you, you have someone, an ex, about to be an ex or is an ex or someone you just dealt with uh it could be even friends with benefits could even be with you know a person from the past you dealt with on and off you have to make a decision when it comes to this person um part of you is curious to know what's going on so we got the curiosity card here so i'm gonna let you know what's up now we also have the third eye chakra out here twice so there's something you see in this decision that you have to make and or something you don't see in this decision and this will bring you clarity um there's also something you have to see in this love that you're dealing with and something that you don't see in this love that you're dealing with um we also have the what hold on one moment that's the i have the root chakra so you have knowledge you have knowledge. You're curious, but you're going to gain knowledge or you're getting knowledge. The divine is going to bring you some type of knowledge regarding this curiosity that you have about this person. This reading right here could also be that knowledge. You have um, community and the I speak. So you could be speaking to people regarding this at the moment or you want to speak to someone or you should speak to someone. I get also that someone should seek therapy, not only you, but the person you was dealing with. Because um, there was, I saw the trauma card. This person had been through a lot, of, a lot of trauma. And for a lot of you, you also been through a lot of trauma, a lot of traumatic experiences. Now we have, we have the Libra here, um, Cancer. We have Gemini, Aries, and Libra again over here. So we got decisions, love, curiosity, community. And over here under the deck, we have rest. This is your advice for you, your advice card. So you need to rest when it comes to this. This is also a Libra card, and um, I'm getting strong Libra. Now, either you or your person could be a fire sign, or we get um, an earth sign, or an air sign. Take it as it resonates. Now, the Two of Swords was upright, and 
We have the Four of Wands, oh no, the Four of Swords over here on the upright. We have the Two of Cups reverse. We have the Page of Swords reverse. And we have the Four of Wands reverse. Now we have, this is a maybe card. You have a question. Um, this card, this maybe card, could be your question. And we have yes, 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 upside down. So I'm going to take that like a no. So whatever question you have regarding this person, like if should we get back with each other? Should I take this person back? Um, will this person come back? Will this person do right? Your overall energy for those answers is no. And we have a big no over here with the four of wands. And for some of you, your person is going through the dark night of the soul or you are going through the dark night of the soul. Some of you are dealing with a stagnation situation like you're on pause, but you're not on pause. You're on hermit mode. God, God got you preserved because there's something that's going on that you do not see. And he does not want you to implement you in anything that your ex is doing. And some, for some of you, your ex is doing this against you. And for some of you, your ex is doing this against you with past people, fa past frenemies, past family members, people you don't deal with no more. Oh, this, this energy is so heavy for me right now. Um, we have the sun. We have Venus. Heard the car horn. We have the moon. So there was things done in secrecy that you don't know about. But with the moon, everything that's done in the dark will come to the light. We have strong Venus. So I could be talking to a female. But there's no gender in card reading. So take it as it resonates. Because we also have Jupiter. Now, I'm going to read to you what these cards represent in the right away aspect. It's a stalemate. A truce. Sitting on the fence. So see, again, this is stagnation that's going on. But something that you and your ex have to talk about or deal with. And for some of you, don't get it like I'm telling you to talk to this person. Because sometimes the, the conversation has to be as loud as the disrespect. Meaning there shouldn't be a conversation at all. Like your disrespect was the end of it. There's nothing more to be said. You know what you did. You know what you said type of situation. Why do I got to keep addressing you? Some of you are just tired of this person. Because this is a round and round cycle with this person. Like I said, a stalemate. And then this person is sitting on the fence with these apologies or coming forward. And for most of you, they won't come with an apology because they don't see the wrong they've done to you because they don't have, they lack the maturity they need to see what they have done to a person that is potentially their um, soulmate, kindred spirit, divine love, uh, twin flame union. They, they lack the maturity. Normally it's the female that wakes up first. And the female is the one that knows. So the female tells the male, but the male is the one that plays the games. It's for the male to grow up. This is a crossroad, difficult decisions. We got decisions twice. You're going to have to make a decision regarding this person. Are you staying or are you leaving? For some of you, you're dealing with a person that had another person in the background. That's part of the moon energy we have here, the, 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 the deceit. We have deceit here. We have difficult decisions, painful choices, stressful decisions, optimism, um, facing your fears, being torn between two relationships, divided by loyalty. You want this person to be loyal to you, loyal to you but this person ha does not have a loyal bone in their body. They're not even loyal to themselves. They're not loyal to this person they're dealing with in the background or these persons. Because I get there's multiple people, but they have different levels with this person. One is married, one got a kid, one dated them in the past, one is their current. This person deals with people, a lot of options. And he gives them titles, and they believe those titles the same way he gave you your title. Next card up for the present, we have disharmony, dis disharmony disconnect, imbalance, inadequacy, incapability, unhappy couple. This situation, there's no happiness in this situation. You were supposed to be in union with this person, united, love, in partnership. Um, you two were compatible. You two would have been happy together, a potential soulmate. Um, this should have been a relationship. Harmony, balance, equality, attraction. You two are very attracted to each other. It's hot when it's hot in the bedroom. But when you are out in public, it's a totally different situation. 
connections, proposal, engagement, marriage, mutual respect. But this person has no respect for you. And this person should have respect for you. For some of you, this person does want to marry you, does want to bring an engagement towards you, and will. This person is going to come and try to come in and ask you to marry them, to try to fix this situation. But does a proposal really fit what's going on? You hear that? I guess not. Now, in the past, there was a, de a delay. This situation was postponed. Some of you didn't see the truth, but some of you are very intuitive and you saw the truth. The lies are being exposed regarding the situation. And if they haven't been exposed yet, they will be exposed very soon. Now, the next card up, we have the Page of Swords. Mind you, we have swords, swords, twice out here, three times out here. There was major betrayal. This person betrayed you, betrayed your trust, lied to you, used you, cheated on you, talked about you. This person talked bad about you. Bad. And God heard that. And your angels heard that. And your spirit team heard that. You might have not heard that. But this part of the reason why your person is not coming forward is because the divine is blocking this person from coming forward to you. Because they don't deserve you. You have to know your worth and your value. You don't need this. You don't need someone that's going to be... For some of you, you're dealing with a domestic violence situation. For some of you, this person has left bruises on you or marks on you. Some, sometimes you get irate, you'll throw things or fuss with the person, and this person will strike you back. Sometimes in some situations, you would have, you hit the person and the person hit you back. And I hear that song, um, Chin Check by Natalie Nunn. This person could be Natalie, could be named Natalie, could, you could be named Natalie. It could be an end name. Take it as it resonates. Because um, I see bruises on the face. That's what I see for some of you. Now... We have the page of swords. It says malice, hypocrisy, suspicion, problems. Someone who is unconcerned with the feelings of others. For some of you, you don't even care no more. You're so tired, I don't care no more. I'm so done with this. It's the same ish over again. I'm done with this. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I don't need this. I'm better than this. Some of you are standing in your power. And if you haven't, then you should. That should be your attitude. I'm out. I could do better. I could get better. It could be way better. For some of you, your family, you have to deal with family problems. When And then when it comes time for you to deal with problems, you're standing alone. So you take on everybody's karma. Every time you take on everybody's problems, you need to start focusing on you and giving your energy only to you. Because you have a lot of energy vampires around you. Now it says delayed news. Patience needed. Ideas, inspiration, planning, vigilance, protective, guarded, fairness. One who is calculating and unconcerned about the feelings of others. Communication. Um, we also have the math ain't math in too. And for some of you, you're going to be traveling. The math ain't math in, in this situation. This person cares only about themselves. So you should mirror that. Since this person only cares about themselves, you need to care about only about yourself. I get for a lot of... This person put you second. This person talked about you. This person lied to you. This person teams up with other people against you. That's what I'm also getting. For some of you, this person teamed up with family members to hurt you one way or another. And I'm getting financially. These people have talked down on you, treated you bad, never did nothing for you. But you was always there, front line front center for everybody and I'm also getting somebody's gonna for some of you it's not for all of you so some of you someone is gonna try to invite you somewhere by yourself this person is gonna make it obvious that they don't want you to bring nobody but yourself because they are tr they're trying to get you alone they're trying to bring you to someone that is gonna cause you a problem or they're gonna try to bring you somewhere that's gonna cause you a problem and for some it's a physical problem so you could be in danger so take this as a warning Anyone that comes towards you, no matter who they are, don't, no, no, it, it could be your best friend or you think you're day one. It could be a sibling. It could be a family member. Uh, doesn't matter. Person you consider family. Doesn't matter. If you have anybody that invites you anywhere to come to them, come with them, somewhere that you've never been before and by yourself, don't go. Take this as a warning. If it hasn't happened already, it will happen. Take Because this is past, present, and future energy. Now we have the Four of Wands, unhappy family, postponed, cancel, 
reunion. Look at that. Postpone or cancel reunion. So if someone invites you to like a family reunion, this, these are unhappy family members. They're not happy with you. They Some of them, they because you're a whistleblower. You tell it how it is. And because you tell it how it is, that brings fear to them over the things they, they do in the dark. Again, the moon is here. It says, leaving home, a pause to relax, narrow-mindedness, disapproval. These people don't approve about what you're doing to protect yourself from this ex. Some of your family members are working with this ex. And it's not going to be a good outcome. In the near future, you're going to have a happy family. You're going to have a new union coming in, a divine union, a divine love. You're going to be celebrating with this person. Coming home, celebrations, surprises, partying, wedding events, feeling welcome, community, family. Coming together, community with spirit, leadership, teamwork, su success, prosperity. This person that, that you're going to meet has what? Is holding the bag. This person is successful. This person is a team leader. So if you decorate the Christmas tree, they're going to decorate the Christmas tree for you. And take that. Also, I see like, could you meet me under the mistletoe? Like a kiss under the mistletoe. For some of you, this person is going to be coming in in December. This is going to be like a winter love, or, you know, a, a cuddle buddy type of thing. Um, someone that is going to bring you peace to your life. This person could want to marry you. For some of you, this person, you already know this person. This person is somebody that sees you constantly and looks at you with loving eyes and looks at you like a strong woman or man. There's no gender in card reading. This person is going to want to bring you surprises and celebrate with you. And not only you, your family too. And this person is, has a, a dope support, support system. This person has a bunch of friends and family members. They're going to love you just because this person loves you. But this ex, everybody he loves or she loves, don't love you. Don't even like you. They're, this person, this ex's family doesn't like you. For some of you, they put on a facade. For some of you, you can't even trust these people's, this ex's family members. Don't even be around this ex's family members. Yeah, it's like being in a, a tub full of snakes. Don't do it. Now, again, I did get the Jezebel spirit. That's why this person is holding back from you. Now, I'm going to read this card. No, I have this card. Next, what was under the deck? Now, what was under the deck is the four of swords. Fear, anxiety, stress, feeling overwhelmed, mentally overloaded, needing solution, relaxation, rest, peace, quiet, sanctuary, meditation, regrouping, healing, hospitalization, um, introspection, planning for the future. This is you at the current moment. And if it's not you, it should be you. Don't. I know you have fear. I know you have anxiety. I know you have stress. Okay? And feelings of being overwhelmed. Like I said in the beginning, you got the world on your shoulders. You feel mentally overloaded. This is how people, these people, these family members, these frenemies want you to feel. They want you in low vibration. Because that's when the devil could work in your life. When you're in low vibration. Stay in the high vibration that you're in. You, you're going to need to rest. And we have rest twice out here. We have peace and relaxation. You're going to have to calm the noise around you. You have people, ah, da, 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 da. somebody's always beefing or bitching or excuse my language. You know what I'm saying? 18 plus. But you always got somebody in your ear about something. Somebody nagging you about something. What you need to do is put your hand in their face and say, get out of mind. Go deal with your own problems. I got my own problems. And, and for some of you, um, even if you have children, we love our children. All parents love their children. But if you're a parent, calm them kids too and go away. Go, just, it's okay to say, go away. Leave me alone. Stop bothering me. Let me relax. Let me meditate. Let me take this me time. You take your you time. Um, do your homework. Go clean your room. Send, send a kid to go clean. Watch them leave you alone. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Tell them to go clean. I'm, I'm sure they'll find something else to do. No kid likes to clean. But the point is, you need to calm the noise around you. That's part of energy draining. People put roots in evil eyes, and we have the root chakra here. So focus on your root chakra. Focus on your third eye chakra and your um, throat chakra. Because someone's trying to blind you. Someone's trying to stop you from speaking. And someone wants you to be in your feelings, in your bag. For some of you, any evil evil eye they send you could even affect your children, make your children argue or, you know, going through, or oh, here's more homework or laundry. You need to silence the noise around you. You need to go to a sanctuary. Make your sanctuary. Go to your room, lock yourself in the bathroom, soak, meditate, 
you focus on you because the divine is working on this. Divine is ironing this out. For some of you, the divine is working with this ex and is basically guiding this ex to the right place. That's for some of you, not all of you. Because for all of you, I get that this ex is in a, a negative energy. So don't be fearful. Let go and let God. Um, you have to find mental strength in this situation. For some of you, you're having an awakening. You have to rejoice in the world. Don't stay isolated. Don't stay in solitude. Sanctuary and solitude is two different things. You can even have your sanctuary outside. Go meditate. Ground yourself. Become one with the world again. Focus on yourself. It's always work, work, work. Run, run, run. House, house, house. Kids, kids, kids. Bills, bills, bills. Um, and for a lot of you... This person should be taking some of this load off your shoulders regarding the home, but they're not. But they're, you're going to have someone coming in. Overall energy, this person, this ex is going to come back to love bomb you. But because they know, they know, they feel it deep down that there's going to be another person. They know that you're a good person. They know that you're a prize. They know how great you are and how great you can be. So they know that someone else is going to come in. But the only difference is, it says it here. It says, um... Look at this. It says, being torn between two relationships. Divided by loyalty. This person is going to come through, act like they're loyal to you, but it's a lie. This, this person is a lie. For a lot of you, you think this is your twin flame. This person is no longer your twin flame. This person lost their divinity. And I'm, with that being said, I'm going to read this card, Code Leader. I'm going to read it by the book. So it says, you are not a guru or a time lord. You are an egomaniac who likes minions so you can feel like an authority figure to compensate for your feelings and infertility, for some of those infertility and inferiority of growing up. Okay, so like I said, you're dealing with a child, someone that has never grown up. Someone that is not about their business. They care more about what's on their feet than your feelings. They care about more what, what you're wearing than how you feel. That's freaking sad. That's so sad. We have change. There's going to be a change to the situation. That's the new love. That's the new love. A new love is coming in. No lie. You have a divine love coming in. This person is... They got the bag. I'm telling you. This person, your ex, you're going to receive a message. They're going to make it seem like they got news for you or they got something to tell you. It's just fake news. It's just a reason to talk to you. You have expectations. Some of you are waiting for this person. That's the wrong thing to do if that's what you're doing. You should not wait for this ex. This ex was meant to hinder you, stop you from your divine path, your destiny. You were supposed to realign with a new lover, for some of you, that's coming right around the corner. We have lover over expectations. Some of you know too. Some of you feel it inside. You're due for love. You're due for financial stability. Some of you are going to re receive, excuse me, receive a message that's going to change your life. And this message is going to be sudden wealth. 777 could be significant to you. You could look that number up. I also was getting the angel number 444. Now, there was something that I kept hearing. Because I also um, hear music. But I also hear music in my head or poetry. And this one is called Temporarily. I got enemies linking up with enemies. Trying to be a friend to me. But they just some frenemies trying to bring an end to me. I got to block the evil eyes that are sent to me. I'm fighting off entities, trying to drain me of my energy. They all just want to take my destiny, keeping me from my legacy. They can't hear the melody. We don't have chemistry, just ecstasy, stealing my identity. I ask God to send clarity. I'm a believer, one with the clergy, just a bunch of jealousy. Be careful. This one needs some, ther some therapy or a remedy. See, again, a warning about this person. This person, they're off their rocker too. For some of you, they're drinking a lot, they're drugging a lot, they're indulging with sex acts with other people. 
they're indulging on their childhood traumas. For some of you, this person is about to be arrested or going to get arrested for um, physical violence with a person that they were dealing with in the past. Now, this person that they're dealing with in, in the past, the reason why they're fighting like cats and dogs is because they're not in union with you. They feel like they picked the wrong person. They didn't align right. This ex of yours chose someone over you because of what they had at the moment, like how they were dressed or their hair or her shoes are cuter or his shoes are cuter. So stuff that was so vain. Now, this person stole your twin flame in some situations. And the person that stole your twin flame, that twin flame is giving them heck. It's like making them go through it. This ex is fighting to let loose from this person. And for some of you, not all of you, because for some of you, this person, this ex likes that ish. Likes this person. And this is like their foreplay. They get into physical altercations. But what shocks you is that this person, for some of you, not all of you, take it as it resonates. You've never seen that person in that manner. Lose their cool in that manner. So it's kind of shocking and scary to you. This person starting to show signs of aggression and violence. See, this situation with this third party, one is going to jail and one is going to the grave. In some situations, the female is going to take the man out. Either she's going to set him up or she's going to take him out herself or there's going to be spell work involved. But for some of you, the third party is doing spell work on your person that's making your person crazy. But since your person is mirroring you and you're leaving, then that's what your person is doing. This person is mirroring you and they're leaving them. But that person's karma is to forever want you and that their person's karma is to forever want them. So it makes them both cycle. So for some of you, this person's childhood traumas and this person's a whoa like and then for some of you you don't even know that they have addictions and traumas and those that do know that they have addiction and dramas it's bigger than what you even think like there's entities here not multiple entities are attached to your ex and because of this person's spell work and because these entities were attached by, because they were both children when they were both children check out my all my other videos they're all linked somehow some way because both of these people this ex and that person's ex, they were harmed as children by the same entity. See, your person is losing their divinity and they feel it inside. They feel that they're losing you. They feel that someone else is going to be in their place. Now, you have a decision to make here. That's the overall energy. Your ex is coming back. Your ex is coming back to mess up this new connection. I'm telling you that they're coming back to mess up this new connection with this new person, with this great person, with this person that you're supposed to build something with. Whether it be an empire with success here in the physical realm or in the 3D, in the 5D, it's something. Something that's going to be birthed, that's going to help others, help mankind. It could be even words you say together. It could be anything. It could be a podcast. It could be anything. But you two were supposed to birth something together. And this ex is trying to stop it. And they're not trying to stop it because they want to fix themselves. Because most of them don't know how to fix themselves. This is why there's therapy on the board. Okay? And then a lot of these people, are have their masks are falling off. So your person is going through it with this other person. I'm talking legally, financially, spiritually, emotionally, sexually. They're going through it with this other person. But that's their karma. If God says they're not supposed to be with that person, you think it's going to be a, a fun? funny games no he's gonna throw arrows at that until y'all stop part separate for good you know but see that's this jezebel we have a jezebel spirit we also have a delilah spirit this jezebel knows that this man because she's got it in readings before she's one that dabbles with the occult we have a cult leader here she's one that dabbles with an occult leader a man a male and this man don't even do, know what he's doing. He's a newbie in a sense. He just likes it because it looks good on him. Okay? Now, she dabbles in the occult. Now, see that she keeps throwing love spells and it's driving your person crazy. This is why you need to stay away so that it don't jump on you. Always do your spiritual baths, your prayers, cleanse yourself. Go out in the rain. The rain is the holiest of water that you can think of. It's coming from the sky. Or go take a dip in the ocean. Ask God to cleanse all the evil off of you. I don't do spells, I don't do voodoo, I don't do none of that. 
I'm an intuitive oracle reader. I'm a prophetess. I embody all queens on the board. I am a hierophant. I'm a twin flame that is not in union, and I'm okay with that. Because you have to understand, not all twin flame unions are supposed to be tied. Sometimes it was just for the lesson, you know, before you get your blessings. You have a lot of blessings coming to you. And those blessings are not going to come to you if you keep dealing with this person. Because this person hasn't put in the work. Your next person that came is coming in is put in the work. That person been through some ish too. But that person is coming in healed. This ex of yours is not healed. Wouldn't you want somebody that is healed? Would you get with someone that rides the bus and you wonder why you ride the bus forever? Or would you get with somebody that has a car and that is stable? You have to make good choices in your life, collective. That this whole reading is about decisions. A decision in this ex that is coming in to love bomb you because he knows a new person is coming in and his person that he's dealing with is punishing him because she's got indivination work done and she knows that if he hooks up with you, he'll have the world. He'll have the glory because you're going to have the world. You're going to have the glory. The bag is with you. The blessings are with you. This person betrayed you. So God said, okay, now I'm going to give it all to you. So it doesn't matter who you end up with. You're still going to get it. You're going to get those blessings if you're walking on your path and doing your homework. The whole purpose is to find the meaning of your life, to walk on your path. This person was a trigger. This person triggered you into walking into your path. That's the whole reason why you're watching card readings. It started out as a, oh, my heart is broken love reading, but it's deeper than that. And I'm not even going to lie to you. A lot of these readers, oh, they're going to keep shutting out love, you know, readings. No, it's more to than just love readings. That's just a small part of it. That was the trigger. You're the whole gun. God is about to give you all the bullets you need, the whole arsenal, if you walk your path. This third party of your ex, she knew. She knew he was going to live good, and she said, no, nope, over my dead body. She knew. She purposely stopped the twin flame union. She knew. See, but that's the devil working. The devil wants to stop this twin flame union. That's why this is a kind of iffy situation. Because why would you want to stop a, a, a prophecy? If these two people, these two twin flames are supposed to be together, why would you stop God's plan? And you yourself, you want to stick to God's plan. You're spiritual. Your person is religious. His family or her family is religious. So that's why they don't like what you do. But what people don't remember is that um, religion came from spirituality. Religion was born from spirituality. It's just a bunch of people took what they felt like was right and broke it down into religions. But overall, it's spirituality. Because we believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. How can you believe in the ghost if you don't believe in the Father? Some people don't believe in the ghost. But the ghosts exist. Okay? Now, I appreciate you for watching. Thank you. Give me a like if you like. Share if you're new. I mean, subscribe if you're new, share this video. You never know who you're going to help. Leave me a comment. Um, now it's time to tap out collective. May your neighbors respect you, trouble neglect you, angels protect you, and heaven accept you. It's time to tap, tap, tap out. Peace be on to you.